Hello and welcome to Cruising with E-Rider. On today's show, we're going to start off with part one down at the Concours d'Elegance. After that, we're going to go over and see Dave at Fat Boys, where he's going to show us the difference in an all-season tire and a winter tire. So stay tuned for that and more on Cruising with E-Rider. Gary, tell me about this cool little car we found at the show. It's a 1964 GTO built November 11th, 1963. It's a factory tri-power. Uh, it would have been one of the first factory tri-powers. GTOs were first built in October of 1963, and they were all four barrels initially. But this ah. one is actually a factory three deuce. Now, did you do all the research, or did the guy you get it from do, do all the research? Um, the individual who restored it for us did the research on the car. Yeah, it's a lot of work, man. It is a lot of work. It is. But we've enjoyed being involved with the car. Uh, we've enjoyed watching the car being tore apart nut and bolt and right. restored from uh, the ground up. Now do you know what factory it was made at? We do Pontiac, Michigan I believe. There. Now where else would you want it made at? That's, That's perfect. Right. That's right. So yeah. now how, how long have you had it? Uh, a little over a year. Ah, oh, you're honeymooning man. And that whole time it's been under restoration. Oh, is and this the first car show? Uh, it's the second car show. Oh, it is the honeymoon. Very yeah, good. We're still at the honeymoon period. Okay. Now, now, do you plan on putting some miles on it, or are you going to trailer it? Uh, we're going to trailer it for about a year until All right. it's judged to several events. Oh, so yeah. Right. Then uh, we're going to drive it to the ice cream parlor every now and again. See, that's perfect, man. That's all you want. Yes. That's exactly it. We're so, now, now, are you and your wife actively involved in the, in the local car culture? Uh, we have a lot of friends that have cars and restore cars, so we're Good. active with them. We are Good. a member of a couple clubs. Yeah, it's like a big family. It is. It okay, is some much. people boat, some people golf, other people cars. That's right. That's right. And uh, all very good people are involved with restoring old historical You know cars. it, man. Well, we're, we're saving a piece of history. Yes, it is. And it's, it's a lot of fun when you have one. It's the first of a model year. Oh, yeah. And this is uh, the original model year for the GTO. Now, now where are you coming in from? Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, so not not a terrible long way. No. Now, did you trailer it up here? Yes, we did. Okay, trailer. I don't blame man. You don't want to get dirt before this one. No, we had to keep it clean. Right. And we're going to trailer it most of this next year. Yeah. Well, it's 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 fresh. The car was originally sold in Jacksonville, Florida, and we have all the original paperwork on it, and uh, we bought it in Chicago. Now, do you have all the little pieces that that were original, but you didn't put back on? Uh, we don't have all of them, but okay. it's got an original engine. All right. And it's got an original transmission. We've added. Because you know not to throw away even a rusty clip. That's right. That's right. Nothing, man. That's right. Because you'll need it at some point in the future. That's right. We have put some comfort related items onto this car. We put power front disc brakes and we put power steering. It did okay. not come with well, any of those creatures. You don't want to wrestle it down the road. Right. Right. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much for being on Cruising with E-Rider and uh, bringing this car out to uh, this wonderful car show. Thank you. Nice talking to you. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Dave, yeah. tell me about this Woody, man. All right. Well, it's a 1953 Ford Country Squire wagon. A Country Squire. Very rare car. I was getting ready to say, I don't think I've ever seen a Country Squire. Yeah, they were built uh, only in California, so it is a California car. No wonder I've never seen one. And, uh... Now, now what makes it the, the Squire? Is it the wood? It's the, uh, probably the options. It's a highly optioned car. There's every, all the options that you could imagine are on this from the chrome this and the chrome that, right? the uh, sun visor, the big V8 flathead motor, right? Uh, and then the uh, the wood on the side here. Yeah, the wood's striking. Now, is that original? That is original, but has been replaced over the years. Okay, all right. And uh, But you didn't make it in the shop. You didn't go out no. and take your lathe. And, no. I mean, no. You know, a lot of people's had to, man. You're right, you're right. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. I understand. Just, you know. But this is the way uh, Henry Ford made them in 1953. 
and they are uh, they disintegrate very easily <laughs> yeah. if you can imagine oh yeah particularly in the bad weather yeah so that's why it's more of a california car than right. anything else <laughs> right and uh it's never going to be abused again like it was back in the 50s well, 60s, it was and a 70s. car back in the day people that's, drove it like one too they drove and they drove the <laughs> wheels off they of drove them. the wheels off of absolutely now what was it like when you got your hands on it i've done very little to it oh uh with the appearance but i have done a lot underneath okay we completely rewired the car right this past uh winter and now, was it six volt it was a six volt oh system. that's that's terrible that's a lot of work that's there's, there's yeah. a wire harness for this car so it's wire for wire for wire really very labor intense uh, it's days, weeks, and months. Uh, Was there a bunch of wire error. in it? I mean, oh, yeah. because of the options and stuff, I'm thinking, maybe? Right, and all the wire was good, but not good enough for what oh, I no. wanted to do. No. When you broke open the wire, there, the wire was green, which is an indication of water yeah. and an indication of uh, condensation. Terrible. So uh, we wanted to uh, change that out before we got into any more pro problems or complications. Okay. And then uh, it's got a uh, upgraded in the electrical system from a six volt system to a 12 volt system. Okay. Consequently, it looks like a generator, but it's really an alternator. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So quite, quite unique. So you had somebody make one for you? Well, no, you can buy them that way. Can you? I mean, you can okay. buy, you buy, you buy it. Uh, uh, it's a conversion okay. uh, on the generator alternator application, but right. the wires are... So it looks ready. right anyway. It looks very right. All right, all right. Yes, so, indeed. It's 110 so, horsepower, brand new. Pro really? Yeah, probably down to about maybe 90 uh, at this time here with a two-barrel carburetor. Yeah. Do you ain't going to try and go fast? No, no. We, and we took it on the road tour yesterday with the concourse people. Did you? There was about 20 of us on the tour. Right. And uh, four of us drove in this vehicle. And uh, it didn't break down. We had a wonderful time. Now, now have you done any suspension stuff? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, right. This winter uh, does not have any sway bars on it. Right. Uh, I'm uh, going to be putting uh, universal sway bars on it during the winter months in the off season. J just, 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 just for better handling. Just for stabilizing it. Right. 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 Okay. So it's uh, always something going on. So this is the second show. This is the second show that I've that I've shown it in. I showed it at the Popcorn Festival. Did you last week? Okay, we didn't go to the Popcorn no, okay. Festival. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I'm here at the Concourse de Elegance. All right, man. So. Thank you so much for bringing it out. Well, thank you very much. For Don't hide it, man. Yeah, get I know. this one out and drive it. This is too nice. Got to get out there and drive them. All right, That's man. What we do very good. Thanks for being on the show. I appreciate. It. Thank you very much for having me. Keep cruising with your rider. Absolutely. Midwest Muffler Pros is the shop you have been looking for. The home of top-end custom exhaust systems. With a fully trained staff for any mechanical issue, from brakes to the check engine light. Locally owned and conveniently located just off I-75 at 3061 Dryden Road. Call today to make an appointment at 937-293-2450. That's Midwest Muffler Pros. I love my ride, but not just any bike, it has to be a sporty strike. Great looking and super stable, just the way I like them. Don't forget, bike storage available to keep your ride dry and warm. That's Sporty Strikes and Bikes at 7426 North 60 Drive, Dayton, Ohio. Wayne Gorby Transmission, Automatic and Manual Transmission Specialist, Experienced Staff, Attention to Detail, Foreign and Domestic Transmissions, Wayne Gorby Transmission, Automatic and Manual Transmission Specialist, 118 North Broad Street, Fairborn, Ohio, 879-4754, that's Wayne Gorby Transmission. 
Carl's Body Shop can fix any maker model vehicle and have been doing so for over 75 years at the same location on Wayne Avenue. We have a great service department to take care of all your mechanical needs, 24-hour towing, detailing, much, much more. Visit us on the web at carlsbodyshop.com. Rhonda's Homemade Candy, the area's finest homemade candy, made in small batches, available in unique flavors, natural ingredients. Be sure to try our one-of-a-kind Buckeyes, our fabulous fudge, and our hand-dipped candies. All orders are shipped free. Please visit our website to see our incredible selection of candies to order from or call 937-286-2731. Be sure to friend us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's Rhonda's Homemade Candy. This is the home of Hot Rod Chrome, Metal Bright, in business since 1973. Specializing in chrome plating, metal polishing, powder coating, molding restoration, and die cast metal repair. Located at 2445 Neff Road in Dayton, Ohio. Metal Bright, the home of Hot Rod Chrome. Master Guard, yeah. Exactly. Good. All right, Dave, you know where we're at? We're down here at Fat Boys. Man, I have questions that people keep asking me about rubber and rims and winter, and you're the guy. Well, when it comes to taking care of the wheels on your show car or seasonal car uh, in the winter, the best thing to do is either A, remove them from the vehicle, or put the vehicle on jack stands so the tires do not flat spot over the winter. If you can remove them and keep them in a fairly good climate above you know 40 degrees it's a lot better for the tire the tire is going to hold up better of course keep it in the shade out of some direct sunlight uh, how about all the goo man you go to the car places and and you've got an aisle full of wheel goo put this on your tires it keeps them better most of those uh, are not promoted by any manufacturer almost no manufacturer of tires promotes any uh, aftermarket t tire dressing most of those tire dressings will eventually dry out the tire really uh, it's yeah, bad? It can be. Um, you know, there are a few that are okay. Um, certainly Mothers makes some good products that you can use. Right. Um, but you know, the, the, the gooier it is, the, the worse it is probably for the tire. The more the oils mm. it's going to pull out of the tire. Um, but Stoner Products makes a good product, and of course Mothers makes a good product to, to put on your entire black to put on. But in the wintertime, as far as storing them goes, you're better off to either bag them and again put them in in you know in your basement uh, right or in, in in warm at least in a garage obviously uh you definitely don't want to let it sit on them all winter if you can keep from it uh jack the vehicle up part and put it on jack stands again bag the tires when they're up in the air huh. uh, as far as the custom wheels go uh one of the best products there is still to this day is wd-40 you can spray your wheels down with that really let it sit on the wheels mm -hmm. uh, it'll rinse right off easily with mild soap and water in the spring and it keeps any oxidation from happening to the wheels over the winter well, that's a good cheap and so so if I come down here and I get these pretty shiny wheels and rims, basically, and I'm going to drive it all winter, for the most part, try maybe keep the salt off the rubber, you think, and stuff? Yeah, as far as, the, not the rubber so much as the wheels, it's, right. you want to make sure you clean those regularly if you run them in the winter, and if they're chrome or polished, they're really just going to deteriorate if you run them in the winter. Oh, it kills them, I know. And the, the, the other issue but is... You see, a lot of truck guys like to run them pretty wheels a lot of the winter, you, you, you see them. Well, and that's what, that's okay because most of the truck wheels now are either PVD, which is not chrome, it looks like chrome, or it's the black powder coated, which has become very popular because it holds up good in the winter into the south, and calcium chloride and beet juice, all the brines they put oh, on. Oh, really? Road. Yeah. The other thing I will tell you about your show car or show wheels is when you park the vehicle in the garage, if, if you're going to park it in your garage and you can't put the wheels inside the house, uh, definitely want to coat them with WD-40. You definitely want to bag them because your other vehicle that you drive in and out of the garage will bring airborne salt and calcium chloride and beet juice and brines into the garage. Of course, that then falls off the car in the garage, becomes a kind of a powder, which you see on your garage floor yeah, in the winter. Yeah, you sure do. That powder becomes airborne, and it causes all kinds of corrosion. On, on really? So you can, if you can avoid that altogether, great. Yeah. If you can't, then you want to, again, spray everything down with WD-40 you can because it will protect it over the winter, and then it rinses right off. But we get thousands and thousands of dollars wrapped up in some rubber and some rims okay and the last thing we want to do is when we get break the car out in the springtime and you roll it out your rims are all rusty because it's been sitting in the garage all winter uh, and, and rust isn't so much of a problem anymore because they just don't build many steel wheels 
but corrosion, we know aluminum corrosion. That oxidation, that, that, oxidation that weird pitting. looking yeah, that, hazy stuff. That's a giant problem and that comes from that ultra fine dust that comes from the calcium chloride spray and the brines and the beet juice and then the right. salt on top of it. And we live in the Midwest, you gotta put up with that here. So the best thing to do is get it out of that environment if you can. And that Again, flat spot on that tire is bad. Exactly, oil that thing down, bag it up, uh, you come see us. We'll give you tire bags certainly to, oh. to, to put to put your tires in. So you well, that's can nice. Dust off of them, uh, and and there's some other products we can show you as well that, that will help uh, if you have to run your wheels in the winter. Even if you're running a black wheel or a PVD wheel, there's some products you can put on that we sell uh, and recommend. Uh, you can buy here or other places, but we right. have definitely some good products to keep the wheels in good shape and tires. Because it's it's a major problem now. Also coming into winter, you guys do snow tires now i know so many people who don't run snow tires anymore because they're not needed so what's the deal well i mean in a good performance snow or snow tire of today is way different than it was back in the old days when you had the firestone town and country mud snow tires and nothing that's like the that. one i'm thinking exactly <laughs> this this is a current uh nitto snow tire uh which is you know if you look at the tire closely it has literally thousands of uh, sipes or, or cuts in the tire that get you amazing it grip. It odd, really, as that to be tire, perfectly honest. As that tire rolls around, those 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 uh, sipes open and close, and they grab snow, and they get you what's called snow-on-snow snow traction, which is, think about rolling a snowball. Right. Snow-on-snow uh, snow traction is grip. It, it gives you a good, uh, sure-footed feeling when you're driving down the road at 40 miles an hour in an inch of snow. Um, you know, the, the you can still spin these. You can still do all those things to them. Mm -hmm. but the, what you, most people want is just a sure-footed feeling, and that's what this tire is going to give you. Plus, this tire is made of a compound that stays supple even when it's even out in the cold. So at zero degrees, you can still move these tread blocks around. They stay soft. Yeah, because I don't like my truck tires. I love my truck tires because I, I will burn it right down to the asphalt if I have to. Sure, but they're hard. Yeah, well, they, you know, they, they that's a tire. They they get. They're soft in the summer and hard in the winter. Yeah, and so that's you know that's the disadvantage to a to a. That boy, the ultimate resource for wheels, tires, and service for your vehicle. Conveniently located at 3050 Springboro Pike, with a full service center and a huge selection of wheels and rims and lift accessories for your vehicle. With over 30 years of experience, that's that boy. Three seven two nine four G six. I'm Christina of Burton Antique Auto Parts in Dayton, Ohio. We specialize in manufacturing and finding rare and custom parts for your classic Ford. All of our parts are made of the best materials available. Go online to view a full catalog of all the parts we make for your classic Ford. Or call me on our toll free line 1-877-277-6753. Chris's Carb Shop, family owned with 13 years experience, specializing in hot rods, fuel injection, and late model fuel systems, with a huge selection of vintage carburetor cores and hard to find fuel systems. Fill all your fuel system needs at Chris's Carb Shop, located at 7718 North Main Street in Dayton, Ohio. Carl's Body Shop can fix any maker model vehicle and have been doing so for over 75 years at the same location on Wayne Avenue. We have a great service department to take care of all your mechanical needs. 24-hour towing, detailing, much, much more. Visit on the web at carlsbodyshop.com. Rhonda's Homemade Candy, the area's finest homemade candy. Made in small batches, available in unique flavors, natural ingredients. Be sure to try our one-of-a-kind Buckeyes, our fabulous fudge, and our hand-dipped candies. All orders are shipped free. Please visit our website to see our incredible selection of candies to order from or call 937-286-2731. Be sure to friend us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's Rhonda's Homemade Candy. 
cylinder head and block service has been providing quality machine work since 1980. Located at 412 Market Street in Brookville, Ohio. Whether it's a numbers matching restoration, muscle car, street rod, or everyday vehicle, we can build your engine the way you want it built. So when you're ready to tackle your next engine project, call Cylinder Head and Block Service, 937-833-5557, where quality is standard. A, uh, truck tire, all a mud tire, or all, you know, even some of the all trains. There's some all trains now that have uh, better compounds that are mimicking this the silica based rubber compound they put in the snow tires, which all kind of comes from racing rain tires. I mean, it's really? a lot of technology into it. Uh, this tire actually has walnut shell uh, holes in the tread that work as get you ice grip mm -hmm. in, in the ice, which is kind of a neat. So, this is not the snow tire I grew up with, not at all. No, it's not. It at all. It's really not. It doesn't even feel like the snow tire I grew no, up with. No, absolutely not. And they're quiet and smooth. They handle really well. They're great in the rain. Anytime it's below 40 degrees, these tires are amazing. And they're fine They're fine when it's above 40. They, they will last a long time. You get several seasons out of these. Do you really? Now, is, is tire, is changing tires something we need to do? Because you will, you will, boy, you will have people fight with you on that one. Do you keep the new tires on year round? Do we, do we have depends, a winter tire? It depends on the product. You know, we try to find what people are doing, whether they're going to, if this is their daily driver, if it's their four wheel drive truck, or it's their SUV they drive every right. day. Or it's a show car. The, the, you know, there's still some specifics, but there's always good compromises. A good, good compromise is a tire like this Continental DWS. This is a performance tire, uh, in, in 20 inch all the way down to 15 inch. That's a good looking tire. Uh, and all the way up to 22 inch, I believe they build this tire in. But it's a true all season, you know, performance tire that, that's made for somebody who has a performance car or an SUV they want to drive you around. Right. And they don't want to do snow tires. They want to have a tire they can run in the winter, the summer. And this gives you, you know, good high mileage. Right. It's got the, a lot of the technology of the snow tire. The DWS stands for dry, wet snow. Uh, dry, wet snow. Uh, you know, and, and there's a lot that goes into that tire. It actually has a wear indicator built into the tire that says replace tire when you get to the really? level the tire needs to replace. <laughs> so there's no guessing with the old penny. It's actually okay. literally yeah. the tire will say replace tire. Oh, that's as a strange. Replace tire indicator. Um, Another good example is a General Ultimax RT43. Again, an all-season more tire that's available for. Now, every, th now this looks tire. more like a, a, a real tire. I mean, when you look at it, the, the the tread and everything looks normal. This one here, this this looks visibly different. This is yeah. this is an this odd is looking tire. This is a specific tire. snow studless snow tire. Right. So this is a very specific tire. Whereas the all-season tires are kind of jacks of all trades, right? right? And then you have performance tires that are just performance tires, or what we call, uh, you know, summer tire only. You'll see that a lot, where it's a tire that really doesn't work below 40 degrees, really below 50 degrees. They get really, really hard, but right. they're amazing in the summer. And the oh yeah, flat. they're useless in anything else. Um, so you know, there's, there's Once ways again, you can. Get, I love my truck tires. There's, there's, I have wonderful truck tires, but boy, they are not snow tires. No. <laughs> now, I will show you an example of a truck tire that works really well year-round. This is a new Nitto Terragraph or G2. Now, this is a big tire. It's a 35-inch tall tire. Right. A big tire. Tall. But it has, again, if you notice, lots of siping. And these are larger sipes than you see on the snow tire. Yeah. It has a very similar tread compound to the snow tire where it has high silica-based rubber compound, high mileage warranty. These tires right. carry a 50 and 65,000 mile warranty, respectively. Um, they're now, quiet, now, smooth. Dave, now on cost, man, are these snow tires a whole lot more than regular tires? Snow tires are actually typically right around the same cost or less. Than okay. Tire because they're a limited use tire. Right. Um, and, you know, oh. tire you use, they, they promote it as being a good, you know, it's really the best alternative. Right. You put four snow tires in an SUV, you're better off than a four wheel drive truck with all terrain tires. Oh, yeah. You know, in the snow. In the, not off roading, that's not what they're for. They're but on that, snow on that. grip, on pavement, sure footed huh. feeling on pavement. Well, you know, I might I might have to try that out because so much, man, we get so much nasty weather, okay? And, and, and you you got to get to work. You have to be there. Absolutely. You know. The temptation is to, a lot of people, when they get snow tires, they think, well, I just want to put two on. If it's a real drive car, I want to yeah, put the back. Yeah, that doesn't work? Them. No, not at no? all. No? You have to put Oh, four you snow just put tires. a hole in my whole idea, yeah, man. you got to put four snow tires on because if you... If you put snow tires in the back, you're going to get a in a rear-wheel drive vehicle like your truck. Right. You're going to get amazing grip. You're going to be able to go real good. Right. When it comes time to turn, you're not going to be able to turn. Oh. Because you're going to be carrying oh, more momentum. In the ditch. Yeah. In the in the back tires are getting more grip. Oh. So if you do the same thing on a front-wheel drive car, you put two snow tires in the front. You got great grip. You're going to be able to go real good. You're going to be able to turn real good. Except the back end is not going to want to follow. 
Uh, and when you hit the brakes, the car's going to want to swap. You in. just, you just, re you knew where I was going. You knew where I was going, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the, the old school technology of two, yeah, two snow tires really never worked before. Yeah, I it know. Doesn't work anymore either. It's even so, worse now. Yeah, and and the, the, especially with the grip levels of the snow tires now, it's, yeah. it's double those old town and country grip. Oh yeah. You, know, you don't have to dig it through to find no the, chains. These will drive right through on top of the snow. Uh, pull right through, get ice grip. I mean, there's all kinds of cool things you can do. All right, so we have discussed that you really don't need to put the goo on the wheels to keep them nice. Bag them, take them off, keep them nice. Exactly. WD-40 on the rims. Yep. That's a good one. Yep. That's cheap. You spray that down, and you can do that all the time all it's winter. Cheap and easy. And I it like that one. Easy in the spring. Yeah. It's not like putting Vaseline, you know, the old Vaseline. Oh, yeah. I'm a Vaseline. Oh, that's what I do. That works. Unfortunately, yeah. it's a real pain in the butt. Oh, it's off. icky. Ten, it gets in all the little nooks and crannies. You and never get it out. Whereas the, the WD-40 actually does get down into all the small holes. It's a holes penetrator. The that, yeah. You know, the wheels are, are, have some porosity. The coatings have porosity. That, that stuff will get down in there and protect it, and it's easy to wash off in the spring. And t people will tend to do what's easy. If it's easy, they're going to do I like that. So. You keep the can in your car and you spray it when you're when you're. when it's all nasty. Exactly. It won't hurt any of the finishes. Uh, I like that one. Okay, so where are we at? Fat Boys. That's right. And where are we located? In Moraine on uh, 3050 Springboro Pike in Moraine. Okay, all right, and you're open all week, uh, Saturdays, but not Sundays? Not Sundays, so it's Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, Saturday, 9 to 4, closed Sunday. All right, we got we got the website, we got the Fat Boys website. FatBoysDayton.com. 